Hey guys, this is Hong Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I invite the beautiful Aiden Curtis to come here, lend me her canvas, created this makeup look for you. We love the look. We had so much fun creating this and I hope you enjoyed the video as well. Always give the channel a lot of love, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumb up and don't forget to follow both Aiden and myself on Instagram as well. To start every makeup, I always use skincare first. The first product I'm using is the Fito Glow Lip Balm from Naterium. This is a very beautiful lip balm. You can wear alone if you want a little sheen. For me, when I do makeup, I prep this on and then I take a lot of shine off before I even do the lipstick. The next product I'm using is the multi-peptide eye cream. This is a very beautiful eye cream to use under makeup or you can use it at night, anytime you like. I'm going to use the rest of the product from Deuterium as well. I think they are a very beautiful skincare brand and affordable. When I said it before, affordable means different than everyone but I think for the price point, they're pretty good. The next product I'm using is the Vitamin C Complex Serum. I always like to use Vitamin C Serum in the morning for brightness, pigmentation. The best way is just press the product into the skin. For moisturizer, I'm using the multi-peptide moisturizer. This is more a day moisturizer. They are rich, but not too heavy. So for night, you can use this as well or you can use a heavier moisturizer if you like. I have this little tune that I forgot to show you guys and I think it's really great for the puffing. This little vibrate tune from Julian Dempsey. She is an incredible makeup artist in LA. It's vibrate like this. So it's really helped to depuff, scope the face. I mean, Aiden doesn't really need any sculpting because she already have it, but I'm just showing this so for you to have an idea. If someone have the time, spend five minutes in the morning with this is really going to help you and you can hear that it's vibrate a little bit but it just really really helps your scope and a little bit of this each morning is that just stimulate the skin really well i like to use this on the client when i am in a rush just a few extra minutes, little facial massage, and you do this, it just really scope in the face. I would try to avoid in the eye area because this is vibrating. And I like to use this after moisturizer because it collides a lot better on the skin. Because sometimes with the skin with nothing on, it doesn't collide well. And then you can do it like this. And this is just basically lymphatic drainage, all the water retention or anything that you have.
So you just do something like that and you have time. You can see, I, I think even you can see the little bit different between one side and the other. And if you have some time, you can do the rest of the face. For foundation and concealer today, I'm using the Cladipo Radiant Cream Foundation and their cult favorite, the concealer stick. This foundation is absolutely beautiful. It is their newer foundation. They actually have quite a good range of shades and I was quite impressed. This is more medium to buildable full coverage foundation. The makeup I'm doing on Aiden today is pretty full coverage and we got the foundation right on match. I think the shade range is really well. You see Clay de Pole in the past, they don't have a good shade range, but for the new foundation and concealer, I think they have many different shades for every skin tones. And even the new concealer, the reformulated concealer stick they have, also have a lot of shades, so you can try it out. It's more um, luminous foundation, and you can see that it does cover really well. You can apply with a sponge, the foundation brush, or your finger. It's all personal preference. I'm going to use a little bit of the color corrector from NARS as well. You can do that before the foundation or after, it doesn't matter. Usually I do it before the foundation, but I forgot. So now I just do it after. But either way, it still works for you. And you just blend it out before you put the concealer. For the concealer, the shade Mocha, because earlier I told you I'm using two different shades. The shade Mocha I'm using under the eye area because I think I want some brightness under the eye area. And for the shade buff, I use around the nose and anywhere else that I want to cover more. I use it just a little bit around the mouth. The shade buff is really close to the foundation shade. So that's why I chose to use always a more matching foundation concealer when I do any kind of pinpoint. Aiden have beautiful skin, so I think you can just get away with just one shade of concealer and that's it. I always want to tell you guys two different shades just in case anyone use the concealer to do any kind of pinpoint, then it's better to do the color of the concealer really close to the foundation and it will look more natural for you. For the sculpting, contouring, shading, I'm using the Rare Beauty Contour Stick. The shade I'm using is Always Sunny. I always listed all the shade and the product in the description box so you can always check it underneath there. I don't stand here and read all the name, but that's the best way. If you like anything, you can always go down and search in the description box and we always so list it on the video as well. Aiden is quite sculpted naturally already. I don't need to do much, but the whole look we're trying to do is really sculpted and shading. So I just want to add a little more. And I love this texture. It's so soft and easy to blend.
And because the, the shape of forehead, I don't think she needs to add any more contour here. Just mostly around here, here, and then maybe shade the nose a little bit. And that's all I'm gonna do. I just did the same on this side. Because all my contour, I always do very blended, just very soft. I don't do really harsh contour. So sometimes just around the cheekbone area is fine. A lot of people ask me where, you know, you just feel where you apply the contour. You feel the bone where right underneath the bone, that's when I place the contour area. I just use the bronzer, just shaping the nose a little bit. She doesn't need it, but I just for the look I'm trying to do, and I'm just wanna really everything very sculpted, very shading. For powder, I'm going to use the translucent powder from Laura Mercier. It's called Honey. And I use a little bit under the eye area. Close your eye. On the eyelid, the eyebrow, and then everywhere else. The look I'm trying to do pretty matte, so that's why I'm going to keep the look very matte. Instead of bronzer, I'm going to use a new palette from Fenty. This is like face palette, could be contour, can be eyeshadow, this is highlight, it's up to you. I'm using this more like shading, just give the face a little everything. And I use two different brush. This one I'm using as a bronzing, so I'm using this shade right here. Just basically touch up where I do earlier on the bronzing stick from Red Beauty and this way I'm just gonna set it and bring out everything even more just keep in mind the look I'm doing it's a lot of makeup and that's the whole purpose of this it's not just like a natural makeup so if it's not your thing you don't have to do all the steps like I do Aiden loved the 90 look and loved all those glam and so today she's a guest and she would enjoy the look, so that's why this is why I'm giving it to her. So if you don't want to do anything like this, you don't have to. I use a smaller brush and just shading around this area more, around here. A little bit there, maybe a bit right there. These you can use as eyeshadow as well, so it's up to you. But I use just for for this purpose only today. But you could use this eyeshadow. For eyebrow, I'm going to use a product from a brand called Refi. I'm using two different shades. One is medium and one is dark. They only have three shades in the brand, but I really, truly love this brand. I mean, they have the color, it's just beautiful. The one I'm using right now is the medium, and I'm using the medium just mainly in the front. Aiden have really slim eyebrow, very 90. I love it. I'm not gonna make it thicker. I think it suits her. It, the whole look is that the whole vibe is perfect, and I'm not gonna make it thicker. I'm just gonna enhance them a little more. And the medium shades, I'm doing just a little bit in the front area. You see what I'm doing? It's just a little backward like this. As I mentioned, I want to keep exactly the same. I'm not going to try to make them too full, just enhance it. And then I just brush it up a little bit. And I know I usually like thicker eyebrow, but 
the slim eyebrow suit her. That's why I didn't. I want to keep them. I, I think it's fantastic, and I'm not gonna try to thicken the brow up at all. You see, I just do a little bit there, and then for the dark shades, I'm using the outer area. I really like this pencil because they are so fine. They're really skinny, like in, in micro. And I think it's great for drawing detail eyebrow. And slowly fade it out at the end. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So this is the shape guy. It's pretty much like the way her eyebrow, I just really enhance it. I really think it suits her, and I know not slim eyebrow like for everyone, but I you can see why I see. I mean it is quite a nice shaped eyebrow on her. I'm going to use some eye primer first. I think she's ready to go. We just say that she looks so good like this, she doesn't need any more, but when you have a face like this, you're gonna keep painting and painting. <laughs> and that's a problem with the makeup artist, you know? When you give them a gorgeous canvas, they can't stop. They keep adding more and more and more, which sometimes is a bad idea, but for the eye, I'm going to use this eye palette from Tarte and the shade I'm using mainly just these shades here just pretty much very black dark gray and neutral tone and then these two pencil one is a long wear black liner from Stila and this is a caviar stick from Laura Mercier it's a black shade I'm using at the depth the base close the eye to start I'm using the caviar stick all over the lower crease area here along the lash line make sure you blend really fast before it set and usually when you use the eye primer it set even faster so you see that i'm just do one eye at a time and then you can get more if you want I'm doing the same on the other side. I use the same on this side and I just blend it out. So it was something like this. And you can just like this, mascara, you go. That's a cool look as well. But we're gonna build from this. Next, I'm using the black shadow. And I place along the lower lash line. And I use this more flat brush. So it's give you more precision where you want to play the application and I see the same on this side if you're not good at applying eyeshadow you might want to do it skin after I do skin first and if anything I can do the powder to dust up a little bit but you can see the way I do is very gentle so it doesn't have a lot of fall off and you just press the black shadow on top of the area that you use the caviar stick. And it will have a little fall up. You're just gonna dust off after. And you're the same on this side, something like that. Next, you use the deep gray color here with a fluffy brush. And then you do this transition on the crease area and blend it out.
I do really slow and you can see how I just do a little bit and I just blend it out slowly, blend it out and blend it out. This is where you're gonna decide whether you're gonna go this way or more around the shape. Aiden natural really lifted, so I don't have to really pull it up. So I do the shape a little bit more softer on the edges here. So it becomes something like this. So next, you use another brush if you like with the gray color and you just soften the edges of the under eye that you did earlier with the black. So it's the same thing on the top and the bottom. I did both the same way like that. You connect them together to the other part here. Okay. And then you go back to your first brush. You're gonna bring back some of the black that you just blended out from the gray. So it still have the depth for you. So this is the area that you, how you're gonna merge together. So it's all personal preference. You can go all this way or you can go more softer the edges. It's up to you. So, you know, I just use the, that blending brush and blend the edge it out. And then I do a Q-tip, just clean the edge it out. It's up to you how you want the shape to end. So it's really just personal preference and you just play with them. And I'm using the lighter shades here on the brow bone. You don't have to do it. I just want to play with the makeup. I mean, the whole point is we just play with it and then I just a little 90-ish that we're trying to do and it's not exactly but we're just trying to give that idea so I'm doing a little lighter old school on the brown bone here not too much but a little bit I saw some people tend to move lighter there and I'm not trying to do that just because I think it's close the eye it's shortened the eye and I keep everything very elongate even I do the the light color so I don't put too much the light color that I think it's short dye too much depend on the eye shape but on Aiden I, I love how wide and long it is and you see I do a little bit on the brow bone area and then go back to the gray blending brush put a little grays and I blend the edge of that again Before mascara, I'm using the black longwear liner from Stila. I do all over the upper and lower waterline. I'm gonna use the black pencil a little bit on the upper lash line as well and use the blending brush earlier just blend it out a little bit longer on the edge Aiden have pretty amazing lashes naturally curved so I don't even have to curl it I'm just gonna use a mascara from our class this is the stream lash mascara and just give it a lot of volume I'm using maybe two three coats on the top and one on the bottom and I don't have to put fall lashes at all. And I always do right from the root and then push it up. For blush, I'm going to use this beautiful pinky blush color from M Cosmetic. It didn't have warm undertone and this is like a cooler pink. I think it's beautiful, a nice contract, a little pop. And it's the color is pretty soft. And I love this texture, it goes so nice on the skin. I have a tiny bit of shimmer, which is beautiful. And you can see that it's, it's almost like a highlighting blush, which is really beautiful on the skin.
and the skin I do pretty matte so it's a little contrast like this is really nice and I love the texture and this color is really nice on pale skin as well and the color very very subtle because the eye is so strong and I'm going to do some lips color as well so I don't want the blush too powerful and this works beautiful as a blush highlight I'm going to use a little bit on the as a highlight on the temple as well and the higher cheekbone I mean for lips I'm going to use this lip liner and lip gloss both from Victoria Beckham Beauty the lip liner is number five the shade Aiden have gorgeous lip shapes. I'm not gonna cheat, I'm not gonna do anything different, just follow her natural lip shape. And here is the idea about lip liner, how you draw lip liner. Everyone gonna look at the lip shape and gonna see different way to see it. A lot of people see this is where they think where the lip is. For me personally, I think this is where I'm going to draw the lip liner. I don't draw right here, I draw right here because that's her invisible natural lip shape. You're not overdrawing them if you do right here. It's really that's her natural lip shape is. It's just the color start from down here. A lot of people will start from here and drawing. That's when the lip look too small. And I don't think anyone want the lip look smaller than they are. So that's why you see I just draw where the invisible sh lip shape. So your lip look a little more poutier. You can see the different, you can draw down here or you can draw there, but this is where I normally draw. Yeah, I use the same lip liner and I just fill in the whole lip shape. After that, I use the lip lock. This lip gloss color is so beautiful. I'm going to use a highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury as well, just to keep it more highlight around the temple area and more the cheekbone area, a little more everywhere. And I leave the, this area pretty matte, but if you like, you can always put a little bit there, a bit there, but I love how not, you know, a lot of us try, try to put like a corner highlight and I personally never like it so much on most people. So I just read it, just keep it the way it is like that. To complete the look, I'm going to set the makeup with a setting spray from our class. Close your eye. This is the final look, guys. It's a full on, pretty much full on makeup, but Aiden thinks she feel very comfortable in it and she loves it. She feel like she can DJ on this every day. So mm -hmm. that's great. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the look. And love it. uh, it's amazing. thank you. And thank you, Aiden, so much for coming to the channel. And I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumb up. And don't forget to follow both Aiden and myself on Instagram as well. Thank you for watching.